Hi and welcome to another daily devotion. Today I'm going to read a scripture, Colossians chapter 3 and verse 11, and it reads, Where there is neither uh, Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all in all. And so what it's speaking about is that really at the end of the day, uh, we are all in the family, of, well, when we're saved in the family of God, but as well as we think about humanity, that we all uh, kind of go back to Adam. And, you know, this theory of evolution is, is a major uh, promoter of, um, of racism. And um, we may have time to speak about this later in the series, but uh, it, it's not real good at all. So what happens to the eyeball? You know, people say the eyeball is one of the main parts of uh, discussion of, of evolution uh, versus creation. Because they say, you know, right there, the eye itself is a real giveaway. The color of the skin and the shape of the eye. And uh, it's been proven that uh, when the eyeball is removed, like, you know, I do once a week at least anyway, I'm sure you do too, but if eyeballs were all placed side by side, they all look the same. What changes the shape of the eye or apparent shape of the eye is the fat and muscle tissue around the eye. And so all these things come back to uh, the genetic differences. And we're gonna, I want to speak a little bit more about our, our culture as well. And so, you know, the dominating genes developed and different looking people, uh, you know, came about that all, came, all originate back from Adam and Eve. And so I just want to read something here that uh, from the science page of the ABC uh, news website, the 9th of October, 1998. And this is what was said. It said, we are all the same. What the facts show is that there are differences among us, but they stem from culture and not race. Isn't that interesting? Not too sure if the ABC would uh, promote anything like that today, but certainly did back then. And so historically, the evolutionists have examined the differences but overlooked the culture side of things. And so, you know, this here, this thing of evolution, as I said before, is the root of racism, without a doubt. However, with creation, mankind is all equal. Everyone is equal. And so I want to close this by making this statement about uh, you know, how we are all from Adam, uh, different races, color, skin, eyes, whatever, that we can make a cake and, you know, the ingredients in that recipe all be carefully measured out and that once the cake is baked, uh, it produces a certain looking, tasting cake. But, you know, you can use exactly the same ingredients that you use to make the first cake, but slightly change the measurements of the same ingredients that you use in the first cake and bake that, those ingredients and end up with a slightly different looking and tasting cake. You know, and I think that is a, a good example of what we're speaking about today. The ingredients are exactly the same. Just the measurement of them vary. And it's the same like us. If I may say, speaking of genes of the ingredients, uh, are exactly the same and go all the way back to Adam, how God created man, male and female, he created them. Uh, God created the heavens and the earth and the seas and all that is within. Please join me tomorrow and we're going to continue on to the next question. Be blessed and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.